running, there's a chance of breaking your Nintendo 3DS system, but do not worry, the chances are completely low, please be sure to follow the steps properly if you attempt to do this, Morgan 2 HD is not responsible for any damage to your Nintendo 3DS system. Hey what's up yo, it's me, Morgan 2 HD, and today I'm here to show you how you can homebrew your Nintendo 3DS. Now, you might be wondering as to why I would make such a thing. Well, I just uninstalled the custom firmwares on my 3DS and they gave me the opportunity to reinstall it and make a video on how to do it. And also, before we start, I got my studio mic up and running again. Um, this is it. This is it right here. You can hear me tapping it. Um, so anyway, so let's get started on the process. So, first of all, we're going to need the 3DS itself, obviously. Oh wait, I didn't, I forgot to flip the flip the video over. Swoop. There we go. And you will need a magnet, but the best one I can find is this Campbell Soup doll. A flash compatible Nintendo DS flash card, which in this case I will be using the R4i Gold 3DS Plus. Uh, I don't, I'm, not, I'm not gonna put a feeling like in the description. I'll just put a regular Amazon link in the description if you'd like one. And a screwdriver if you're using a new Nintendo 3DS system or a new Nintendo 3DS XL system. This is not required if you're using a new Nintendo 2DS XL, specifically because there's a flap for the SD card. Yeah, anyway, let's, uh, let's uh, get to it. So, first of all, We'll have to take the micro SD card out of this flask. I mean, uh, the 3DS. <laughs> My darling, I didn't have that before today. But uh, before we do get into taking the SD card out of the 3DS, one note I should mention is that if you're using the same flash card as me, you will need to uh, make sure if it, the camera will focus. make sure that your black card is set to the end position. If that is if you're using the same SD card for me, but anyway. I'm just gonna put this back together now. Mm. And also don't worry if you have an SD card in here that you're not gonna be using the SD card with inside the black card but anyway. So let's get the SD card out of the 3DS. So I'll just take my screwdriver over. And here's one. Then I will open the 3DS up. Then I will eject the SD card from the 3DS and I will plug it into my computer with a USB. Jeez, why now? With a USB. SD card reader. Now, if I were to go on the computer, go here. Now, I uh, had to take some old files off the flash card, uh, just in case. But anyway, um, another link in the description will be for this. These files. Uh, this file is in mine. I had to take this from another tutorial. Anyway, we're going to need to download these files, which I already have. Let me just go in my download folder. If I were to go in here, it opened up in another screen. Sorry about that. I have to minimize this now. Or no, I should go back to the SD card. So, here. So, let's go to two console SD card. And we'll drag and drop. Files from here. Come on, no. The place the files on this desk, yes. Now I can eject the SD card. Take it out. Put it back in the system. And I think I well, actually I'm not gonna screw the plate back on, but I'll just reattach it without screwing it. Just in case. 
now we'll open the 3DS. Anyway, so I guess I might as well just. I'm not gonna be able to capture it right now, so this will have to work. So, next thing you will need to do now is insert your flash cart into the system and use your magnet to put the thing in a sleep mode. Oh, found it! And then, uh, wait, what was that button combination again? Okay, uh, last try. X, start, select, and power. Oh no, wait, it works now! Oh, okay. So, um. Okay, so now. So if you're on these screens, I have to. I hope the footage is still flipped over. Anyway, so now that's done, we can now do the process of actually installing the firmware. Oh, okay. So we'll have to push the button combination for this. So in this case, it will be left, now right, up, A. And now back up the current firmware. Big hacks for him to install success! Okay! Yay! And uh, after it installs, uh, it will boot back into this, so just to fix that, you will have to turn off your system by holding down the button. Come on, come on, turn off already! Okay, there we go. Now, I will flip over the 3DS and take the panel off. Jeez, how is this so tight if I didn't screw it in? Wait a minute. Okay, come on. Got it. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Don't worry about it snapping. That's my fault. Now, we will go back onto the computer, but first... We'll plug in the SD card again. Okay, so now that's done. We go back into the computer. And now that's done, I will go back to the RAR file. Which, by the way, if you're wondering what I'm using to boot or open RAR files, I'm using 7-Zip. Anyway, so I will go to latest Luma 3DS and then drag over the boot.firm file in. Actually, let me bring out the old one. Just in case, just in case. Okay. Now, I will go out of this, and then I will eject the SD card. Pull the SD card back into the 3DS, and then I will put the system plate back on. Now, I can open the 3DS, turn it on, and it will bring, and once that's done, it will bring you to these screens for the, for configuring Luma for the first time, so I'm just gonna do that. And, uh, these are the settings that I recommend configuring, um, except for show GBA boot, screen and patch AGB firm. You don't have to worry about that unless you, you, you're, you have. Game Boy Advance games that you want to play, and you like to see the good old boot screen. Yeah, I, 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 I keep it on. Okay. So now I will start to save. Now, we'll boot into the 3DS. Main menu. Home menu, actually. Now, if you want to determine if your system is up and running, you can go into System Settings. And instead of saying version 
right here, it will say system instead. V-E-R for version and S-Y-S for system, but anyway, I'm not going to worry about that right now. Okay, so next you will want to go into download play. You won't be able to see it because of uh, the way the camera angle is. Actually, I'm just going to... Okay, yeah, just so, just so it's easier for you guys to see. So... Next you will want to press L, down, and select, I think. Yeah, that's it. Then you will want to go into... Options, I think. Yeah, that that's it. Uh, switch the A B title to the current app. And I will do that. Operation defeated. And then I will go out. I will close the menu now. I mean, download play. And now I will oh, reopen it. And it should lead me back into the home. Yeah, there it is. And then I will go into the FBI installer. Which, I don't know what, why they called it that, or named it after the actual FBI, but anyway, I'm not going to worry about that right now. So, I will now go into SD, I will go into... What is it? No. CIA. Yeah, that way I don't get confused. And then I will go into select, or no, not select, um... I will go to current directory, and then install all CIAs. Yes. And now, please I'll play the waiting game. A few apps later. Install finished. Okay, so now I can go out. Alright. Okay, we'll go back here and then I can. Blah, blah, blah. Explain these options. Oh, wait. I can press. Uh, Alright. This software has been added to the lumber menu. Yay! Okay, now I can do this again. Uh... Oh, hold on, how do I change download play back? Okay, I don't know how to change it back, so maybe I can figure this out. And uh, I think I fixed it. Let me close and reopen to be sure. I hope I got it. Okay, okay, never mind. It, it, it's fixed. I fixed it. You just had to do the same thing again to turn Donald Play into Home Prolonger. Just do the same process to change it back. Okay. So now I will open all of these gift icons. And then I will open DSP1 to make sure the audio works. I need to turn up the volume for this. It works! You probably couldn't hear that, but it works! At least for me, at least. Alright, so there you go. You got a custom from. Oh, wait, hold on. Let me uh, re re flip, flip the footage back over. Okay, we're good. We're good. Okay. So. So, now that you have custom firmware on your 3DS, what are you going to be able to do with it? Well, first off, you can play emulators, you can play mm, ported over software, I guess. Meaning that you could play, I don't know, like actual homebrew games. And also, if you have NTR custom firmware, you can uh, stream your software, I mean like stream gameplay to your computer, so you can record it, like I did for my Tomodachi Life series. And uh, you can also back up your games, just don't share your backups on the internet, because that's piracy. I mean, unless you have some friends that have custom firmware and they just want to try some of your games out that they don't have, or other way around, I guess. But uh, just don't share them on the internet, because that's piracy. And I think that just about wraps it up. So anyway, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like, subscribe, comment, click the notification bell if you like. And that's all you gotta do, so goodbye.